Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Meet Me in the Center. My name is Andrew, the cat sleeping in the background is Shadow, and um, this is the first video, um, other than the introductions about my channel, that I am releasing. Uh, this is a little bit of a special video, I'll explain that in a minute. If you are brand new to the channel, I suggest I suggest going back and watching at least the first introduction. I will leave that the link to that in the description of this video. Um, that kind of explains to you what this channel is and um, so that you kind of know that coming in. Um, now I said this this video is going to be a little special and a little little different to what I'm going to normally do. So generally what I have done is um, I have a list of topics or issues that I want to talk about and I make a video um, about that and how I do that going a little behind the scenes is I make uh, I create like a very uh, loose structure for my video so I'll like say the topic is environmental issues and climate change I'll use that as my example um, so I'll make I'll break that down into smaller um, sections. So for climate change and environmental issues, one of them is climate change. One of them is um, melting ice. One of them is um, conservation areas, uh, bees dying, stuff like that. And I will make small bullet points so that I can kind of remain in the structure without going off on a crazy tangent, but most of it is flowing from my head. Um, this video is actually a little different to that. Um, I wrote this whole video. Um, I didn't actually mean to write this whole script that I, I wrote, and I'm going to be reading to you. Um, but as I started writing it, I'm like, I really want to make this a video, but there's no way I'm going to be able to do this unless I read what I've written. So bear with me there. Um, most of my videos aren't going to be like this. But um, here we go and see if you like it. Um, so I wrote this, oh goodness, probably six months ago. I wrote this. Um, it wasn't actually just going to be for a video. I had started thinking about, well, maybe I could do a YouTube channel. I explained that in my introductions. Um, but I have always been thinking about... Um, why society is on the path that it's on like why are we going down this specific road and i've always kind of tried to figure that out and this is my answer to that um, so bear with me and i will read it what are we if we are not the single electron in the first atom what are we if we are not the atom in the first molecule what are we if we are not the first molecule in the chemical reaction that created life we are just a few billion years and trillions of mutations away from being the mutation that, that created Homo sapiens. We are all connected to a history that created all life on our planet. Everything on the planet is connected to all of the things through this amazing history. This is why I don't understand things like racism, sexism, bias towards one creator over another, war, poverty, malice, and dominance over others. We are all connected back to that single electron. We are all separate and unique, and we are all one. Show unity and understanding of differences when dealing with all people, not just people you know. Sometimes I think of everything going wrong in the world, and I have to bow my head and grieve. It should be enough. Imagine the odds of our universe's physics allowing for not only a Big Bang, but also a stabilized universe going for 13.77 billion years and counting. Then imagine the staggering odds of our galaxy condensing and combining. Then imagine the odds of our own sun forming and being able to pull a bunch of rock and gas together to form our solar system in a way that had no catastrophic consequences that would have destroyed our planet before it even began. Then imagine the odds of the Earth forming in the perfect location in our solar system's Goldilocks zone, with water at some point being added to the mix. Then imagine the odds life was spontaneously created, probably through a random chemical reaction. Please imagine the odds of that life continuing to evolve for billions of years, avoiding extinction from asteroids, meteors, comets, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and ice ages. 
What are the odds of the random mutation that created the first mammal, then the ancestor of the primates, then the great apes, and then the first humans? What are the odds of our species, a relatively frail, slow species, surviving and thriving on the explosive growth of our brains, bringing us to today with modern technology and innovation? If one thing in all of that history was different, it is extremely likely we would have been rendered non-existent before we even began. We should rejoice in the wonderful luck we have to be here now and stop our petty and short-sighted behaviors that are harming the human race and destroying the natural resources of the, this planet for the, excuse me, for the gains of the few and the suffering of the many. I believe we could solve most of the world's problems if everyone understood we are all equal under the eyes of the stars in the universe on this planet we call Earth. We all have the same history starting at the Big Bang, possibly even before that. We are all one and the same despite our slight differences in physical attributes. There is only one race, the human race. If we don't destroy ourselves before we as a race understand that we are all connected in ways we can't even yet fathom, I believe our potential is limitless. Our ability to innovate and adapt will allow us to one day travel the stars and join the galactic community. All we have to do is respect all people. Remember thinking about the odds of us even existing? We managed all of that through our collective history. Are you saying you can't handle this small trifle in comparison? For years, I have been considering a question, and I finally have my answer. What has led humanity down the destructive path society is taking? I have thought of many minor reasons as to why this is the case. However, I was never truly satisfied. There has to be one all-encompassing reason that connects to everything bad currently happening. I finally found the answer. The answer is the calculated eroding of respect and the accentuation of our differences instead of our similarities to ensure division over unity. In other words, divide and conquer. It explains it all. Social media, the need to be connected 24-7, participation trophies, Karens, cancel culture, extreme bipartisanship, the extent of the spread of certain viruses, and so much more. I have been thinking about this question for years, and I finally have my answer, and much more importantly, a solution. Respect is the answer, and respect is the solution. But it's up to you. It always has been. The hum- is the human race worth it? Or should we blow ourselves into non-existence like the odds always suggested would happen? Well, that was what I wrote. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I, some of those things that I, I mentioned, like the, uh, need to be connected 24 seven participation trophies, carrots, etc. Um, I will be talking about and how they do link to that overarching divide and and conquer. Um, that is going to be a series of videos that I am planning on doing, uh, fairly soon on this channel. Um, so like I said, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, leave a like comment, subscribe if you want, if not, well, that's up to you. Uh, I won't be hurt either way. So don't you worry about it. I hope you have a good rest of your day and I will see you soon. See you for now.